Do you want to be able to create completely unique motion graphics just by changing one single parameter? Well, we're going to cut things up today and show you how to blend your main motion graphics in with your background. Hey everyone, this is Jordan with Sonduck Film. If you like motion graphics, consider dropping a like. It helps us out a ton and let's get started. Remember, you can download the project files in the description below so that you can follow along. So here we have the finished composition and I want to show you here how we can take this composition and then completely change it just by changing the random seed in our control layer like this. And now the composition's layout has completely changed. To recreate this, the first thing we're going to do is make our base map layer that we'll use for the rest of the composition. We'll start by pre-composing our title layer real quick. We'll name it to placeholder, then click OK. Next, go to layer, new solid. We'll make a white solid, then click OK. Now duplicate the solid with Ctrl D. We'll name the bottom solid to matte and the top solid to fractal. Now highlight the top fractal layer, go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise, and effect, color correction, levels. For fractal noise, set the noise type to spline, set the contrast to 500, Brightness to negative 80. Open Transform. Set the scale to around 1080. Bring the complexity down to 1. Then Alt-click the stopwatch for evolution. In the Expression Controls panel, type in Time asterisk 4 to give the layer a constant animation. Then go back up to Levels. Grab the middle of the histogram. Drag it all the way to the left. Then increase Output White by a few thousand. Go to the matte layer, set its track matte to Luma Matte Fractal, and pre-compose both of the layers. We'll name this one to Map 1, then click OK. Now back out to the main composition, go to Layer, New, Null Object, highlight it, then go to Effect, Expression Controls, Slider Control, and this is going to be how we control the random seed of all of the layers. In the Effect Controls panel on the main composition, click the little lock icon to keep this panel here, then open the map pre-comp. Open up the Fractal layer and the Fractal Noise effect, then open Evolution Settings, Alt-click the stopwatch for Random Seed, then click and drag the Pick Whip tool up to our slider control. Now, when we change the value of the slider control, it will also change the value of our Random Seed as well. Back out to the main composition, Unlock the Effect Controls panel, highlight Map 1, go to Effect, Generate, Fill, and Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow. For the fill, we'll set the color to this dark bluish gray, then for the drop shadow, set the opacity to 100%, direction to 35 degrees, and softness to around 165. Lastly, go to Layer, Layer Styles, Bevel and Emboss, then open the settings and set highlight opacity and shadow opacity to 20%. Now we have all of our assets set up and ready to start being duplicated. Next we're going to duplicate our maps and change their settings to fill out our composition more. Start by duplicating the map on the layer panel, then go up to the project panel and duplicate map 1 there as well. Now hold down the alt key and drag map 2 onto our duplicated map layer. This allows us to change this map pre-comp without affecting the first one that we made. Now open map 2, go to the effect settings for the fractal noise and change the brightness to negative 50. This will change the whole shape of the map layer. Back out to the main composition, make sure map 2 is underneath of map 1, then repeat the process of duplicating the map layer, duplicating it in the project panel, holding alt and dragging it over the duplicate, then increasing the brightness of its fractal noise. I'm going to fast forward while I repeat this process until I have 5 map layers. Make sure each time you make a new map, you increase its brightness even further than the last one so that the shape keeps layering as it goes down. And now we have all of our layers created and filling out our composition. If you like the graphic featured in this video, be sure to check out our brand new Editor's Motion Pack. It features over 300 motion elements to help enhance your editing projects and make them stand out. With our easy to use extension, all you need to do is find a graphic you like and click apply. Once it's out on the timeline, you can use our simple control layers to customize the graphic to fit your needs. And just like that, you have an awesome custom composition to use in your projects. 
Check out the link in the description below or visit sunduckfilm.com for more details. Next, we're going to make a layer of dots that we're going to track mat to a few of our map layers to add some texture to the composition. Start by creating a new composition. We'll name it to Dots, then click OK. Go to Layer, New, Solid, click OK again. Then go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise, and Effect, Simulation, CC Ball Action. For the Fractal Noise, set the contrast to around 660, Brightness to negative 28, Alt click the stopwatch for Evolution, and put Time asterisk 400 into the Expression Control Panel. For Ball Action, set the Grid Spacing to 10 and the Ball Size to 13. Now you should have this animated composition of dots. Go back to the main composition, bring in the Dots Comp and put it above the first map, then go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, Effect, Stylize, Glow, and Effect, Channel, Set Matte. For the tint, set the black to be the same color as your background so that it essentially disappears. Then, for the white, we'll set it to be this dark beige color. For the glow, simply increase the glow radius to about 30. Then, for set matte, we want to do our take matte from our first map layer. This makes it so that the dots will only appear on this very first layer of our composition. Now, duplicate the dots layer, put it above map 5, then change the set matte to take the matte from map 5. Now we have our dots adding some texture to the top and bottom layers of our maps. Lastly, we're going to take our title layer and blend it in with each of our maps to finish off the composition. Highlight our placeholder layer, go to Effect, Channel, Set Matte, and Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow. For the set matte, have it take its matte from map 1 and check Invert Map so that it gets covered by the first layer. Now duplicate the set matte effect have it take its mat from map 2 and uncheck invert mat. Now the title will show up underneath of the first map and on top of the second. For the drop shadow, set the shadow to be the same color as the background, set the opacity to 100%, distance to 0, softness to around 250, then duplicate the drop shadow to give it a stronger effect. Now all we need to do is duplicate the title, highlight the bottom one, then go to the set matte effect and change it to take its matte from the next map down. So change map 1 to map 2, then change the map 2 to map 3. Now it will only appear on this next layer, and you can see the drop shadow of the first being cast onto it. Repeat this process again, duplicate the title, highlight the bottom, change the set matte to the next map, duplicate it one more time, highlight it, and then change the set matte to the last set of maps. And that's it. Now, all you need to do to completely change the look of the entire composition is go to the null object we created earlier and set the random seed to any number you want. Now you have this cool, multi-layered and dynamically changing composition to use in your projects. Be sure to check out the links below to download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro extension, which comes with 50 free templates. I hope you found this video helpful and remember, always be creating.